guys, today I would like to talk to you a little bit about what I do to de-stress, reduce anxiety and kind of chill when I'm not feeling chilled. <laughs> there are a couple of things I do kind of routinely when I'm feeling uh, a little bit overwhelmed with everything that's going on and today I wanted to share this routine with you or all the things that I do and steps I take towards feeling a little bit better again and feeling like myself again. The first thing I always do when I'm feeling stressed or overwhelmed or anxious, um, strange as it may sound, is I clean my house. I am very much a clean environment equals a clean mind person. Having clutter around me and stuff in places where it doesn't belong just adds a little bit of extra stress that is so easy to eliminate and when I'm in a clean kind of organized space I instantly feel so much better and I feel like everything's all right and actually as I'm cleaning I feel like I have done something useful. <laughs> when you are in a situation where you need to de-stress the most that's usually a time when you feel like you do not have the time to stop doing what you need to do and take some time to de-stress. So for me it's always really hard to stop being productive and take some time away even though it's definitely necessary and I know that I will be able to go back to my work later um, with a fresh mind and be much more productive. Cleaning is kind of a easy slide into relaxing for me because it is still doing something useful but it's not work so it kind of helps me detach. Also just the manual labor of putting things away and cleaning really helps me um, get my mind off of things and focus on something else. So another thing I do is to play some relaxing music. Music can have such a strong effect on people. I know it does on me. I can get very affected by music if I allow it to. Playing relaxing music just helps so much. It's almost it's almost funny how well this helps. So what I like to do is just um, search for a playlist on Spotify. I know for me it really helps if I don't know the music because when I know the songs I tend to focus on them a little bit too much. So um, yeah, I just look up a playlist on Spotify. They have loads of kind of relaxing playlists um, and I just play that and listen to it or play it in the background during whatever else it is that I'm doing. So another thing that I do that's kind of a background thing is to diffuse some essential oils. Essential oils are amazing for relaxation. Scent is such a powerful thing, just like music. Something that you kind of subconsciously experience and that just helps you get into a more relaxed state. So I recently got this diffuser from Fancy Plant. They kindly sent it to me and I love it so much. I have literally used it every single day since I got it, which is ridiculous, but I just like it so much. It's like having a scented candle on, but with no chemicals whatsoever, a customizable scent, there is no fire involved. It has a automated timer, so you know you don't have to go in and blow it out and everything. You can set it to 30 minutes or an hour or two hours and it will just keep going. So I had it filled with bergamot and jasmine essential oils, which I love those scents, but for relaxing specifically, I like this chill pill oil. <laughs> it's a blend by Aurakasia and it's uh, especially made for relaxing. It contains lavender and chamomile and a couple of different scents and it's, it's a really nice blend. So I just add a couple of those, a um, couple of drops to the water in my diffuser and then I turn it on and it humidifies the air and it ionizes the air and it spreads this lovely relaxing lavender based scent that is absolutely beautiful. Oh, I also like this particular diffuser. Uh, also has a light setting where it can either change color, so it'd be like a rainbow, or you can set it to one particular color of light. It helps with allergies as well. You can put a um, eucalyptus oil in and it just cleanses the sinus. Oh, amazing. <laughs> um, anyways, if you're interested in this particular one, Vanity Planet have also kindly offered a discount code that you guys can use. 50% off makes it just $30. I will have a link in the description box below. But something else that I do to relax when I have my music on, when I have my oil diffusing and the scent is nice and my room is clean, is to have some tea. You guys know how much I love my tea. So I just uh, take one of my favorite blends or a green tea or whatever I feel like having. So I'm, often I will have a herbal blend with some relaxing herbs in there um, before bad blends and everything. So I'll have a cup of tea and sometimes I really like to have a snack as well. I will admit, be completely honest here, I'm a bit of a, an emotional eater and I don't think there is anything wrong with that as long as you, you know, 
don't let it get out of control and kind of mind what you're eating. So I like to make something healthy for myself and then just eat it and it makes me feel good and I love good food. <laughs> so um, yeah, I will often just make myself a good healthy snack and um, here you can see me making healthy breakfast muffins. There's a recipe for that on my channel already. It's from years ago, but I still love making these. And then I will just eat that and eating something good, especially when I know that it's healthy as well, always makes me feel so much better. So I've mentioned before that I like um, doing stuff with my hands to get my mind off of things. And for this reason, I also really love when I'm really taking some time for myself to knit or to draw. I love knitting and drawing, both are just things where I can move with my hands without having to think about anything, but I do have something to focus on and these activities are just really relaxing to me. I especially love that when I'm finished I will have something pretty. <laughs> yeah, just any hobby that you have, when you're stressed it's a good time to just work on it, get your mind off of things, focus on something that you really enjoy doing and just feel a lot happier. So when I notice that my mind keeps wandering back to whatever is stressing me out or I'm having anxiety about, I will read something. Reading is the best way to get out of your head and into a completely different world. I, I absolutely love reading and preferably when I'm a little bit stressed out or not feeling too well, I will read something light so that I can get into a more positive mindset and it really helps me as well. Last thing that I like to do when I'm stressed out um, which really helps me so well. I've been doing this a lot recently and that is just going outside and going for a nice walk and it doesn't even need to be a long one. I just go out, do um, walk around the park just once and come back home. It's about half an hour but just the mild exercise from walking and being in nature, being outside, breathing some fresh air, getting some sunlight and honestly just seeing the trees and all the plants makes me feel so much better and it also often helps me put things into perspective and get out of my head and see that the things I'm so worried about aren't actually as big as I'm making them out to be. So going on a walk always really helps me to de-stress and reduce anxiety. So those are all the things that I do to help manage my negative uh, thinking and feeling and emotions <laughs> So if there is anything that you do that really helps you please leave it down in the comments below and we can all kind of help each other in a big puddle of De-stressing <laughs> so I really hope you enjoyed this video guys if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos And thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video Bye